Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. This is part one of a two-part video series on how to integrate BMC server automation with Atrium Orchestrator. The series will show end-to-end -end process of integrating BSA with Atrium Orchestrator using the BSA adapter. Let's get started. For integrating Atrium Orchestrator with BSA, you need to take care of a couple of prerequisites first. The major prerequisites are, if you are trying to integrate BAO with BSA 8.7, you need to use the BSA adapter version 2015.03. Also, the peer hosting the BSA adapter must have BMC Server Automation Console and NSH installed on it. For a complete list of prerequisites, please visit the below link. By the end of this video series, you will be familiar with creating jobs in BSA, configuring and deploying BSA adapters on the peers, and creating a sample workflow to test the integration. Let's do a quick demo. This is my BSA app server, which has both the console and NSH installed on it. Also, this machine serves as a LEP for my BAO grid. Let's quickly open the BSA console. Let's connect to the app server. Okay, at first, we'll add the CDP and the app server in the list of servers. This is my app server. We can see it over here. Let's add the CDP machine as well. As we can see, both the servers has been added. Now let's create a small file deploy job. Let's expand the job directory and say new job folder. We'll name it BAO BSA. We have it over here. Now let's create a file deploy job. Let's provide a name. Let's browse to the source file. So I have a file on the desktop, as you can see over here. Let's browse to that file. As a destination, I'll copy this file on the CDP server. Add the CDP server on the right hand side. Leave the rest of the settings at default. So now we have the file deploy job ready. Now let's go to the grid manager and configure our BSA adapter. This is my CDP machine. Let's go to the grid manager. Go to Manage, Adapters. Let's activate this Blade Logic Server Automation Adapter. As you can see, 
is 2015-03 version. Click Add to Grid. Now let's click the Configure button and provide it a name. Let's switch to the XML mode. I have already created the adapter configuration. Let's switch this to XML to make it easier to read. My executable NSH binary is located in this directory. I'll be using secured remote password protocol for authentication. The profile name is default profile. Here are the username and password along with the default role. This is where the credential cache file is created which stores the copy of our credentials and how long the authentication is valid. This is the authentication profiles XML location. This looks okay. Let's copy it and paste it in our adapter configuration. Click OK. Click Save. And now the adapter is configured. Let's deploy it on one of the peers. So I'll choose the LAP over here as the LAP machine has the console and NSH installed. Click the Enable button and select the adapter. Click OK. Hit the OK button once again. It says the changes were successfully saved. Let's check the status. So as you can see, the BSA adapter is now active on the LAP machine. In the next part of this video series, we'll create a sample workflow to test this integration.